Welcome to the Ask Brad Show. Be prepared to hear ideas, concepts, and strategies that may challenge the way you were taught to think about saving and investing for retirement. It's time to roll up our sleeves and get to it. And now the host of the Ask Brad Show, here's Brad Williams. Hello, Huntsville. Welcome back to another edition of the Ask Brad Show. Hope you had a great week. And uh, today, uh, we're going to talk about change of season. What is it like to retire? What are the things you need to think about when you retire? And I'm not just talking about money. I'm talking about lifestyle. Because retirement is really about lifestyle. Yes, you need to have enough money. And yes, you need to do good things with your money. But to have a truly fulfilling retirement, You're going to need to have a plan. You're going to need to have thought out ahead of time what you're going to do with your time. We're going to talk about some of those concepts today. But before we get started, I want to do a retirement update. In a previous show, we had discussed the new SECURE Act and what that means for America. And Congress is at work again, getting involved in our retirement. And like they do in most cases, there are some good and some bad. When I first read the bill and I saw that they were moving the required minimum distribution beginning date from 70 and a half to 72, I thought, wow, that's great. I even heard one of the virgins said 75, but uh, the last version that I heard that's moving forward is 72. So that's a good thing. And then as I read deeper, in spite of all the other good things, which is uh, using 529 plans for K through 12, which I think would be a great, a great tool for those who want to homeschool or private school and including more financial products in 401ks including annuities, since there's a lot of talk of lifetime income, and that's real important. I mean, in reality, that's all a pension is. So those were good things. Now, the the downside is, and this really affects those who have a large IRA, is that the stretch IRA provision is going to be eliminated. And what that stretch IRA provision is, is it allows someone, say, to pass that IRA to a child or a grandchild. And then they would use the inherited IRA table, not the standard IRA table for their required minimum distributions. They would have to take a required minimum distribution, even if they're only five years old, but it would be based on their life expectancy. It was very small and it allowed that IRA to accumulate tax deferred for many, many years if managed properly. It was a great wealth transfer tool. Well, That is going to be eliminated in the SECURE Act, and that will be reduced to 10 years. So basically, you have 10 years to cash out an IRA, whereas in the past, you had five before they implemented the stretch rules. So what is this going to mean to retirees? Well, it's going to mean that they're going to have to change their estate plan because I work with uh, some attorneys, and putting that stretch IRA provision in trust has been a common practice. All those trusts are going to have to be redone now. So if you've had a trust and you have that conduit IRA or or conduit provision that allows that stretch IRA, looks like you're going to need to go back to your attorney and have that updated if this act passes. Now, it has stalled in the Senate because some of the senators wanted to take out the 529 provision. That's caused, uh, you know, some debate there. So we're not sure where it is, but uh, there's a lot of talk of the SECURE Act. And I thought you guys needed an update. At Brad Williams Financial Services, we believe in innovative thinking, and we're not afraid to challenge conventional methods in our approach to managing, investing, and preserving wealth. To learn more about Brad Williams Financial Services or to set up a complimentary review, call 844-343-6048. That's 844-343-6048. A 
message from Brad Williams Financial Services, LLC, right here in Huntsville. Is your financial advisor performance-driven or purpose-driven? What I mean is, when you meet with them, is it all about returns and numbers, or is it about you, your family, and your quality of life? Do they know your goals, your aspirations, and the desires you have that you hope your money can achieve? Did they even ask? Is your financial advisor a partner in your retirement or just someone who sends you reports. If you're looking for an advisor to be more of a partner for you and your spouse in retirement, call Brad Williams Financial Services at 844-343-6048. Call today and schedule a free one-hour, no-obligation consultation to discuss your goals and aspirations and see if we're a good fit. That's 844-343-6048. Well, as I mentioned earlier, retirement is more about money. You know, and as we look at where we are now, summer's winding down, your kids, grandkids going back to school, it's a change of season. And, of course, we know in Alabama that doesn't mean a change in temperature, uh, but certainly in our mindset. You know, traffic starts getting uh, denser. You know, it's nice in the summer when... uh, uh, when we don't have so much traffic because people are on vacation and there's holidays. So, uh, and, you know, eventually we will get help from the heat and humidity. Start looking toward Christmas and the end of the year. And what I have found is that oftentimes this end of the year causes people to focus on uh, old family things and planning. Uh, in fact, in the insurance industry, life there's more life insurance sold in the end of the year from what I've read uh, because people start thinking about family. Well, what we're also going to talk about is the change of season when you begin to realize that retirement is not far off. Uh, Maybe you're early in retirement, and that requires a change in your mindset, a change in investment philosophy. You've heard me say many times you, you need to shift from the growth mindset to the income mindset, because total return is growth plus income. And uh, with the volatile markets we have, having an income mindset is very important. So changing that mindset's real important. You know, this is a retirement focused show. I'm glad that maybe I get some younger listeners. Uh, I hope it helps them. But my, my focus is toward those who are ooh, close to retirement or in retirement. And so I do talk about retirement a lot. Uh, you need to always be looking towards retirement planning. If you're already in there, it's about the options. And one of the things that I would suggest is having goals. Do you have goals? Have you decided what's important to you and why it's important? Because you've got 20 to 30 years in retirement. In fact, my uh, grandfather retired at, at 55 and lived 87. 32 years. Um, and, you know, that's not uncommon these days. So make the years count. Establish goals. Find out what's a what's important to you, what priorities you have. It, it could be travel. Uh, maybe a uh, um, long time ago you visited, say, Italy, and uh, you spent a couple weeks there, went to several cities, and now you want to go back and see even more. Well, you may even make several trips out of it. That takes planning. Uh, that's a lot of work, and there's money involved. So take that into consideration. It's it's making sure you get the most out of everything, and that requires planning. You know, a lot of people say, I'm not really interested in traveling overseas. I'd rather just travel in the United States. And let me tell you something. There are so many places, great places to see in this country. We could spend a lifetime and never get them all in. So, again, having plans, taking a look at what money's involved, the impact of those costs on your retirement. Now, for some, it could be that they want to spend their time serving in their church or community. And others, and this affects a lot of my clients or applies to a lot of my clients, they want to watch their grandchildren grow up. They want to be involved in their grandchildren's education and ball games and everything else. Well, Again, plan for that. You've got to plan for that. So you need to sit down and put teeth in it. And 
I always encourage my clients to dream. Don't put off retirement too long. Make sure you start enjoying it. Even if you shift to a part-time status at work to try to start getting those vacations and those trips in and, and those activities, then that's great. You know, when you first retire, that, oh, first 30 to 60 days is, is kind of like a extended vacation. Uh, you're not having to go to work. You're waking up. You're getting your coffee and you're watching the news and you're wondering what you're going to do that day. And it's really great because you don't have any plans. And then all of a sudden life starts wearing in and you start realizing, wait a minute, uh, this isn't real good for me just to sit around all the time. The vacation aspect is going to wear off. You got to have something to get you out of bed every morning. You got to have a mission, something to look forward to, whether that's travel, whether that's service, whether that's your family. Seriously, folks, I'm not kidding. It's important for you to have a mission every day because what will happen is if you don't have a mission is your retirement's not going to be that long. There's something I've seen in my 32 years in this industry is the fact that if people don't have a mission when they retire, they don't live as long as other people do. So you need to have a plan. It's very important. And I'd like to offer all my listeners a free report. You can call 844-343-6048. And we'll, get, we'll email you a copy, mail you a copy, however you like. No cost, no obligation. 844-343-6048. You can also check us out at AskBradWilliams.com. Thanks for listening to our show today. In retirement, you only get one chance to get it right. And we know that proper information leads to informed decisions. And that's why we hold free informational workshops in our area every month. Topics like Social Security, RMDs, the latest retirement tax strategies, IRAs, estate planning, and so much more. For dates and times of the next free workshop in your area, just pick up the phone. Give us a call today, 844-343-6048. That's 844-343-6048. Or visit us online at askbradshow.com. That's askbradshow.com. All right, now that we're back and, and uh, we've been talking about the change of season in retirement, having a mindset of having a purpose for life, even though you're not working anymore. And some people might think, well, you know, Brad, I listened to this for uh, some of the investment strategies and concepts. What, what does this have to do with retirement investing? Well, these missions is how you count the cost of your retirement. Uh, I have some clients that... Uh, that build a vacation budget in our financial plan. Because with every client, I do a financial plan, a written financial plan. And uh, I think that's important. It acts as a GPS. Question I'd have for you, do you have a written financial plan? Okay. So in that financial plan should be your goals and objectives financially. And that could be travel, could be many things. So, Investing wisely for retirement, that's really key. And having a financial defense in retirement is very important. And I'd like to offer all my listeners a free report called Financial Defense in Retirement. You can call 844-343-6048. And we'll, get, we'll email you a copy, mail you a copy, however you like. No cost, no obligation. 844 844- Three four three six zero four eight for our financial defense report. You can also check us out at askbradwilliams.com. We can send you some videos. These are short three or four minute videos that really explain some of the concepts that I talk about on the show. And these will help you in the planning. These will help you in, in really looking at retirement from a different perspective other than just getting financial reports that show you how much you made. Because it's not, it's not how much you make on your money. It's the purpose of that money that's important. I mean, obviously, it's important to get a return on your money. But it's also important to have a purpose for that money. So, again, getting back to, to goals. 
sitting down with your spouse, with your significant other. Think about what you want to do and what the cost is. Plan out several years in advance. You know, domestic travel doesn't require a lot of money. International does, but domestic doesn't require a lot of money. Volunteering for your church doesn't require a lot of money. It does take time and commitment. You know, you got to get up and get there. But when you're looking at your activities, you got to count the cost and you got to you got to set those goals up and know how much income you're going to need to get to those goals. If you would like to have the kind of retirement where you're thinking about my travel plans, my volunteering plans, then you've also got to know what your income goals are and what your income capabilities are. And have you looked at your retirement plan from an income generating standpoint? So that is what makes for a secure retirement is not how much you have in the market or in the bank. It's what that check is that's coming in from renewable income every month. You know, when you are in that transition, when you are, say, that three to five years before you retire and you're looking at how do I plan for this? We've also got to take some things into account. Let's say you've got a combined income of 100000 and And this is a real-life case that was recent for me. You're both working. You have a combined income, about 100000 And you're contributing you know, roughly about 25000 a year to the 401k. And you had a mortgage roughly about 18000 a year in principal and interest payments. Uh, but that's going to be paid off in the next couple of years when you retire. So when you think about retirement, you've also got to factor in, well, I'm not going to be contributing to a 401k. My mortgage is going to be paid off. And I'm not going to be making Social Security contributions. So, you know, there you're looking at another 7000 or so. So your income when you hit retirement from that standpoint uh, is going to be less. So your the way you look at your expenses is going to be different because you've got also a reduction in federal income taxes in this particular case. And this is assuming you're not making withdrawals from your 401k right away and, and add an additional income. So remember, taking into account all these things, taking into account when you're going to claim Social Security, because that is a big driver in guaranteed income for the rest of your life. Nowhere else can you get an 8% guaranteed return on your income that you can get by waiting till you're 70 to get Social Security. It may be that to accomplish some of your goals, uh, that you continue to work part-time or that you withdraw from your 401k to help get you through that bridge time to get you to maximum Social Security age. So these are some of the things that need to be talked about and need to be thought about. So uh, and we're going to get more into that when we return. A message from Brad Williams Financial Services, LLC, right here in Huntsville. Is your retirement plan on course? A good advisor is like a financial GPS because your retirement is like an airplane. It's subject to the tailwinds of economic change, the turbulence of volatility, and the fuel risk of outliving your money. If you would like to find out what having a financial GPS is all about, call me to schedule a free one-hour consultation to see if you are on course. Call 844-343-6048. Welcome back. And we've been talking about the change of season from summer to fall and the change in your financial season as you approach retirement. When you hit that red zone of retirement, and what I mean by that is that that time right up to, you might even be as much as five years before, or if you've stepped into retirement recently, it's important to have goals. It's important to taking some time, putting some teeth in them, uh, knowing the cost, knowing if you're traveling, what that's going to cost. Is it volunteering? Is it playing more golf? You got green fees. (laughs) So it really is a lot of things. If you want to build those in, you need to have a plan. And having those goals will tell you what your income needs are going to be in retirement. And so that's important because, as I mentioned earlier, you may have 20, 
30 years, and maybe if you're lucky, even more. So when you're 65, if you're getting ready to retire, planned at 95. Wow, you don't even, you when you're younger, you don't even think of 95. But look around, look at church, look at the places you go. If you go to the senior center for activities, I do a lot of workshops there. There's a lot of older people there that are very vigorous and energetic. There's all kinds of activities. Uh, I have a client who's got Parkinson's, and they have a boxing class for Parkinson's patients, and he loves it. It's helping him do, you know, work on his balance and and some of the issues that Parkinson brings. So there are so many things for retirees to do now. But if you're going to enjoy them, you got to have a plan, and that plan includes the right income. So you may have a pension. A lot of people still have a pension, uh, whether it's fifty dollars a month, whether it's a thousand dollars a month. It might even be three thousand dollars a month. It forms one of those pillars in your guaranteed income. Then you have your Social Security. Then you have any other sources of guaranteed income. Maybe you got a military retirement. So you piece those all together. You see what they're going to bring, and that tells you what you're going to need. And again, Social Security planning is really, really critical because it helps you maximize one of those pillars of guaranteed income. Uh, What I do for my clients, I have a timing software that I run them through as a basic part of our financial plan. In fact, it's one of the first things we do. And what that does is it shows them all of the aspects and all of the strategies they could use. In the past, most financial advisors really had no tools to do that. And so the guess was, well, are you going to live long? Then you may want to take it later. If you're short lived, you may want to take it now. You know, that's about the, as scientific as it got. Well, now there's ways to look at how to do it and even strategies to maximize income for you and your spouse. In fact, I do regular workshops on social security where we discuss all those things and how to maximize it. Uh, We'll be announcing a a workshop here in the next week or so uh, as we finish up our scheduling and we'll let you know so that uh, any of our listeners can, can come to that. You know, you've got to, you've got to look at guaranteed income and then that tells you how much you're going to need from your other accounts. Then you have to look at how do I safely get that money out of my other accounts? Because how you're invested in retirement is different than how you're invested when you're growing. So you need predictability. You need consistency. If you're relying on the 4% rule out of your mutual funds for your income, uh, folks, that rule is passe. That rule's gone. In fact, Morningstar, who created that, uh, has even come back and updated that at about, I think it's 2.8% or 2.9%. So, not only, and that's with a 90% chance of not outliving your money. Folks, that's, that's not a real good, that's not real good odds in my opinion. It's looking at, okay, what can I invest in to generate income? So am I getting my income from the growth of my investments or am I getting it from the income generated from my investments? In fact, one question to ask your financial advisor is if you're taking RMDs now or if you're getting ready to take RMDs, they say, where am I getting my RMDs? And if he's telling you he's selling shares in your funds to get them, that ought to send a red flag up. So if that's the case, maybe we need to talk. So uh, give us a call, 844-343-6048. That's 844-343-6048. And we'll be happy to send you the uh, defensive investing report that we had mentioned earlier and help you through that phase. You know, look at it this way. If you're getting your income from interest and dividends, it's like the chicken and the egg. As long as you got the chicken, he keeps laying the egg. You keep him happy, he keeps laying the egg. Do you want to eat the chicken? Well, if that's the case, the game's over. So you don't want to eat the chicken, you want the egg. And that's what investing for income is all about. And that's what I help my clients with. Because as you retire, your mindset changes. And and just like in retirement, your advisor attitude changes. 
just like when we're a child, we have a pediatrician. When we're you know young adult and into adulthood, we have a general practitioner. And then when we get older, we specialize in someone, a geriatric or someone who specializes in in the health of of those who are o- o- older. I hate to say elderly, but older because I'm 62 now, so I'm I'm moving up there. But uh, so in the minds, the advisor mindset changes too. So remember that. Keep that in mind. Again, if your advisor is taking your income by selling shares in your mutual fund, that's something maybe we need to talk about. So last topic here we're going to discuss briefly is inflation. Got to build inflation into the pot because inflation is like a 30-year mortgage in reverse on your funds. So if you're not taking income, if you're taking part of the principal, then it's just like a 30-year mortgage where your first payment is primarily interest and a little bit of principal. And then as time goes on, it becomes more and more principal and less and less interest. Well, folks, if you are cannibalizing your retirement accounts to do RMDs and income, even though you're only taking a little bit of principal now, not even factoring in market corrections and ups and downs, then you're on track for a 30-year mortgage in reverse. Do you want that? That's something that you need to think about. Well, keep that in mind. Give us a call, 844-343-6048. That's 844-343-6048. At Brad Williams Financial Services, we understand the struggles that families and business owners face today. We want to help you develop, implement, and monitor a strategy that's designed to address your personal objectives and individual situation. To learn more about Brad Williams Financial Services or to set up a complimentary review, call 844 844- Three four three six zero four eight. That's eight four four three four three six zero four eight. A message from Brad Williams Financial Services LLC, right here in Huntsville. Is your financial advisor performance driven or purpose driven? What I mean is, when you meet with them, is it all about returns and numbers, or is it about you, your family, and your quality of life? Do they know your goals, your aspirations, and the desires you have that you hope your money can achieve? Did they even ask? Is your financial advisor a partner in your retirement or just someone who sends you reports? If you're looking for an advisor to be more of a partner for you and your spouse in retirement, call Brad Williams Financial Services at 844-343-6048. Call today and schedule a free one-hour, no-obligation consultation to discuss your goals and aspirations and see if we're a good fit. That's 844-343-6048. Welcome back, and we're going to talk about the six key aspects to a successful retirement plan. Now, I'm going to cover these six key aspects in a general sense, but they're also going to be targeted over the next few months for an individual show for each one of them. So as you uh, get a grasp of, of these six key aspects, now, mind you, this doesn't cover everything, but these are the main the main aspects of a successful retirement plan. But uh, in the coming weeks, you know, we're going to address each one in very much depth. So uh, let's start with number one. And that's social security planning. You know, that's probably a foundational aspect to most people's retirement plan that are, you know, 55 and older. I know some people who are younger than that probably have some misgivings. That's a topic for another show about the, uh, uh, efficacy of, of long, of, uh, social security. But I'm 61 and I feel pretty comfortable. Now, there'll be few changes for me, at least for the near future. And that's how most people are, especially in their 60s. But that is that one thing that drives a lot of activity. You know, when should I retire? Well, I'm, I'll be at least 62 or I'll be at full retirement age, whatever that is, 65, 66, 67, depending on what year you were born. Again, that's that's one of those first decisions people make. And I know I've been in this business for over 30 years. And in the early days when uh, when I'd be sitting down with a couple, 
and planning out strategy as far as when they should retire. One of the key questions we would always get asked, um, or I'd get asked, and I'm sure other financial advisors are the same, is when should I take Social Security? Well, we really didn't have efficient tools back then to make educated decisions. And a lot of times it was just a fact of, uh, well, do you live long? Does your family live long? And if that answer was yes, well, then you might want to wait and max it out. And if the answer was no, you know, we all die in our mid-70s or something like that, then taking it early may make sense. And and that's about as scientific as it got. Well, today there's several very efficient planning tools. I use uh, Social Security Timing for my software uh, that will print a report and show you all the options. And there are many. And so having the right data to make that initial decision on when is best to take Social Security is really important. And you got several key aspects of timing your Social Security, and that is when you hit a 62, of course, you can take it. That's the earliest you can take it. When you hit your FRA, which is your full retirement age, that's when you max out your benefit uh, as far as for your spouse. And what I mean by that is that if you wait till after full retirement all the way up to age 70, you get an 8% deferred retirement credit by waiting after full retirement age. So, for example, if you're 65 and because of your age you qualify for Social Security this year at full benefit, you'll get an 8% growth in that um payment, that monthly payment, each year you wait until you're age 70. And then obviously at age 70, you don't want to wait any longer because uh, there's no benefit to it. You're leaving money on the table. This is one of those key aspects that are very important to know the numbers. Now, some people have to take it because they have income gaps. Some people can wait. The, The key is don't guess. Don't just throw a dart at a dartboard and guess. And don't leave money on the table because some of the different options can mean the difference between twenty, fifty, sixty thousand dollars, even more over your lifetime to make the right decision. So the number one aspect is Social Security. There's a great book about your money that was written by a good friend of mine, Dave Scranton, and it's called Return on Principle, Seven Core Values to Help Protect Your Money in Good Times and Bad. And I'm going to offer that book this week. Uh, That's my weekly giveaway for the first three callers at 844-343-6048. It's like a $25 value on Amazon, folks. But it's at 844-343-6048. It is a great, well-written book by a very, very smart guy. In fact, he's got a television show on Newsmax called The Income Generation. In fact, I've been on it a couple of times, Uh, but his name is David J. Scranton, and I'd like to provide that book to the first three callers. Thanks for listening to our show today. In retirement, you only get one chance to get it right, and we know that proper information leads to informed decisions. And that's why we hold free informational workshops in our area every month. Topics like Social Security, RMDs. The latest retirement tax strategies, IRAs, estate planning, and so much more. For dates and times of the next free workshop in your area, just pick up the phone. Give us a call today. Call 844-343-6048. That's 844-343-6048. All right, welcome back. And we're going to cover the six key aspects to a successful retirement plan. And we covered Social Security in one. And the next is income. And and these kind of dovetail because, as I mentioned, Social Security is a a key foundational uh, planning uh, aspect. But where are you getting your income is going to uh, drive some of your Social Security decisions as well. Are you getting a pension? Are you a federal employee? Are you military? Do you have a corporate pension? And frankly, those are shrinking. You know, uh, uh, there aren't many people covered under corporate pensions anymore. And, uh, and even the ones that are there, a lot of them have quit contributing. They've just kind of frozen your benefit where it was at, at the date they decided not to do that anymore. And the reason being is 
with low interest rate environment we're in, that puts a tremendous amount of financial liability on the company in the aspects of managing it, getting the adequate returns to make sure it's fully funded. And when they talk about fully funded pension, it means that if they've got a dollar of projected benefits, they've got a dollar of assets to cover that and or more. You may have heard the term overfunded pension. That means they've got more than a dollar for every dollar of liability. Uh, The problem with a lot of pensions is that they're way underfunded. And especially some of these uh, municipalities, uh, the the state of Illinois is in dire shape when it comes to their pensions. Uh, They just kept voting more and more benefits with uh, um, without putting adequate money into the uh, plan itself. But making the right choice on pensions is really important. Now, sometimes you'll get the option of having a spousal benefit where you can reduce your benefit to uh, make sure that if something happens to you, your spouse continues to get that benefit for their life. That can be 50%, 25%. It really varies. That's really not a topic for this show. But making the right choice there is important and taking a look at at things like the health of you and your spouse. Uh, Is it pretty well assured you're going to outlive your spouse short of of an accident? Then that factors into what choices you make there. Uh, in some cases, it might be, um, might make sense to take the higher pension and, and just guarantee one life. And then if you got adequate insurance or, or it makes sense to have insurance to cover that, then you, you basically cover your own pension. And that's a case by case basis. And it really depends on what factors the pension's using to drive their benefit. That, that's really a calculation that, that needs to be made at that time. Uh, and then looking at, at, at some, planning strategies like would it make sense in the early years of your retirement to wait on social security and let it grow till you hit age 70 and take distributions for a short period of time out of your retirement accounts and have them fund you until your social security maxes out and then turn that on and for some people that is a that's a very viable and recommended strategy uh, but again, that's a case by case basis, and it requires sitting down and doing the uh, the requisite calculations. Factored in things like uh, your required minimum distributions, which when you hit seventy and a half, have to come out of a retirement account, uh, an IRA specifically, and uh, a four hundred one k. If you've already retired, the only exception to taking an RMD at 70 and a half is if you're still working, but that only applies to the 401k that you're currently funding. If you've got other 401ks from previous jobs, you're going to have to take RMDs from those. Again, RMDs and IRAs, that's a topic for another show. I'm just trying to cover the, the basics. You may have rental income or dividend income. In fact, it's recommended that you, uh, set your retirement accounts up in many cases to fund your RMDs through dividends because then you're not having to uh, sell shares and eat into your principal to fund those RMDs. So, you know, when we break that down, it's setting the right strategy, looking at the whole picture and determining how best income should be drawn. What accounts first? I often use a bucket approach you know, a a now bucket, a later bucket, and a maybe bucket. That's one strategy. But there's many. The the key is, is that you have sat down and developed the strategies on paper and know the scenarios and know the options are available for each. I would like, there's a great book about your money that was written by a good friend of mine, Dave Scranton, and it's called Return on Principle, Seven Core Values to Help Protect Your Money in Good Times and Bad. And I'm going to offer that book this week. Uh, That's my weekly giveaway for the first three callers at 844-343-6048. That's like a $25 value on Amazon, folks. But it's at 844-343-6048. It is a great, well-written book by a very, very smart guy. In fact, he's got a television show on Newsmax called The Income Generation. In fact, I've been on it a couple of times, Uh, but his name is David J. Scranton, and I'd like to provide that book to the first three callers.
when it comes to income, there's taxable, there's tax deferred, and there's tax free. And one thing that's often neglected uh, by planners, by investment advisors, by people in general, is building up a certain amount of each one for certain purposes. Because there are certain years you may want to take out of this one, some of the years you want to take out of that one. By having a choice and a blend of taxable, tax-deferred, or tax-free income, it gives you some leverage and some choices. You know, just a, a, a really important thing to have in that retirement plan structure. And if you have any questions about that and would like to talk and ask questions about what that means to have a different tax structure for income, just give me a call, 844-343-6048. I'll be happy to spend some time on the phone with you. It's 844-343-6048, and uh, we can talk about that. Now, let's let's go into our third uh, key aspect, and that is taxes. And I mentioned that in, in the income range, but that's where that multiple bucket comes into play when you're talking about tax planning for income. You may have uh, reasons why you want to defer certain things that it makes more sense to take out of a a taxable bucket this year because you've had a lower income from other areas. And then having some tax-free income may be important in those years that you have, you know, some windfalls, things like that. The key about taxes is that you want to plan that out. There should be, in your retirement plan, there should be uh, some planning aspects for taxes, strategically, tactically. One thing I give out to my clients is a tax cheat sheet. And I'd be happy to uh, email you one, no cost, no obligation, 844-343-6048. Just ask for the tax cheat sheet. And we got it in digital form and we actually have a hard copy. We'll send you either one. Again, no cost, no obligation. It lays out all the taxes just that you could just about deal with. And it also has uh, Social Security issues, Medicare premiums, your RMDs. But these are the type of things when you're doing planning for taxes in retirement that you need to know. And most people don't know that that your income affects your Medicare premiums the next year. I've had people come in uh, when we first started working together, say, hey, last year my Medicare premium went up. Why? And I had to explain it to them. So I think when it comes to all the aspects of, of retirement planning is don't guess don't just wade into retirement. You need to have a written dynamic plan and what I call a financial GPS. If you remember when I opened the show, I mentioned that that plane didn't have a GPS. Well, and and I've said this on other shows, you know, a GPS tells you how to get back on course. Most people don't realize when you are flying on an airline that that plane is off course most of the time. But because the GPS catches those subtle changes that come from turbulence and headwinds and temperature gradients and weather and things like this, similar aspects to what happened to you when you're in retire. The the economic uh, climate doesn't stay the same all the time. That GPS makes those subtle changes before they become big changes. And so that nose gets brought back on the course. And the plane continues on to its destination. So that's why having a plan and what I do with my clients, we sit down, have a written plan that includes all this. And it's a plan that is like a GPS in that it is not just a document that sits there and gathers dust on a shelf. It's something you use, a foundational uh, plan that gets altered on a regular basis as economic changes, financial changes, family changes, you know, targets move. Uh, and so you need to be able to adjust your sights on them. Now let's get into the fourth aspect of uh, a successful retirement plan, and that's medical costs. Because of all the costs you're going to incur in retirement, medical costs, you can read article after article. And I'm not talking about long-term care nursing home type issues. I'm talking about medical cost, operations, medications, all these things. And so as you're getting close to retirement, you need to be asking questions 
uh, of your HR people at your company? Do they have a way for you to continue your medical insurance in retirement? Some still do. A lot of them are getting away from that. Uh, some companies even allow you uh, to stay on and use a supplement that they've got negotiated with their carrier. You know, that brings up another topic, which is you need some kind of supplemental insurance to match your Part A and Part B Medicare. And you can use a Medicare Advantage or you can use your typical Medicare supplement. And, you know, there's valid reasons to use either one of them. Again, that's that's probably a show in and of itself is which one you should choose. But looking into those aspects uh, prior to retirement, you know, one of the One of the biggest mistakes a lot of people make is they may be a month from retirement. They're here in this show and they're like, oh my God, I never realized how many decisions I had to make. And all they're doing is counting down the days till they get to walk out of the office. And they really don't think about what's waiting for them once they retire, if they had made plans in advance. So it's, it's best that you know, five or 10 years before retirement, you really start honing in on some of these things so that the actual date of retirement, you're already set up. You've already got a plan. It's just sticking with the plan and adjusting the plan as need be. So uh, medical costs are going to be huge part of retirement. Now, part of that is, of course, long-term care. Now, some have long-term care insurance, some don't. Uh, there's actually more ways than traditional long-term care insurance to deal with the uh, chronic illness situation that causes so many people financial ruin. And I think what's important about that, though, is that whether you're using your own assets and pledging you know, a certain part of them to cover any of those costs, whether you're partially or fully insuring it with traditional long-term care insurance or whether you're using one of the new hybrid plans that maybe even have an annuity base or a life insurance base. What's important is that you've reviewed all those options and you've determined which one makes the most sense for you. And for several years, this was years before I opened up my my own office and hung my own shingle. You know, that's all I did was long-term care planning for clients. And there are so many aspects of that that you just really can't do justice if if it's just a, a once in a while thing you deal with long term care insurance. That's too important a thing to you know it's it's the same reason you uh, wouldn't go to a, a divorce attorney to do a trust. I mean he may be good at it, but most for the most part you'd want to use them in their uh, in their specialty. And knowing these different long term care options is real important. There's a lot of good people that know them and then a lot of people that just kind of dabble at them. So, you know, just make sure you're, you're dealing with someone who, uh, who really understands them. And so if that's something, if that, if one, if that's one of those key things in retirement that you want to talk to, uh, or, or talk about, just give me a call 844-343-6048. That's 844-343-6048. And would be more than willing to have a phone conversation to talk to you about that. I think every one of these planning aspects is really important. You know, any one of them can can create havoc in a retirement. So start addressing those in advance. I would like, there's a great book about your money that was written by a good friend of mine, Dave Scranton, and it's called Return on Principle, Seven Core Values to Help Protect Your Money in Good Times and Bad. And I'm going to offer that book this week. Uh, That's my weekly giveaway for the first three callers at 844-343-6048. It's like a $25 value on Amazon, folks. But it's at 844-343-6048. It is a great, well-written book by a very, very smart guy. In fact, he's got a television show on Newsmax called The Income Generation. Uh, In fact, I've been on it a couple of times, Uh, but his name is David J. Scranton, and I'd like to provide that book to the first three callers. A message from Brad Williams Financial Services, LLC, right here in Huntsville. Is your retirement plan on course? 
A good advisor is like a financial GPS because your retirement is like an airplane. It's subject to the tailwinds of economic change, the turbulence of volatility, and the fuel risk of outliving your money. If you would like to find out what having a financial GPS is all about, call me to schedule a free one-hour consultation to see if you are on course. Call 844-343-6048. All right, welcome back. And... We're going to talk about the six key aspects to a successful retirement plan. We got two more to go, and number five is risk. And when I talk about risk, I'm talking about market risk. I'm talking about interest rate risk, and I'm talking about sequence of return risk. Now, that's going to be a topic of another show. I've already done a show on that, but very soon I'm going to be doing doing the – risk show. And that's one you don't want to miss because it's one that's often overlooked. When I talk about market risk, I'm talking about the risk of loss in the market. Now, markets trend up over time. It's the best inflation hedge. The problem most people don't think about is that as they get older, they need to be reducing their risk. And there's several ways to do that. There is no one hard and fast way to do that. And there are many tools out there to help you do that. But it's something that should be looked at. How much of that hard-earned money do you feel comfortable having at risk? Because as we've seen the last 10 years since the financial crisis, uh, due to low interest rates, the uh, stock market has, has exploded. Now, that party is going to end. Logically, it would have said it would end it already, but there's been many things to cause it to continue. Well, it's going to end and it'll be, you know, in the near to moderate future. So being prepared for that's important. Interest rate risk is another because as interest rates rise, it brings a whole new set of opportunities and problems. You know, I'll give you a quick one. Uh, bond funds have been used by many people. You know, you hear that 70, 30, 60, 40 stock bond portfolio. And especially in 401ks, bond funds are are widely used for that bond aspect of it. One of the things that's coming in the future as we see interest rates rise is that bond funds are going to present a lot of problems because one of the big areas of returns that bond funds have been in in, a, in an interest rate environment that causes interest rates to drop is that it causes bonds to appreciate. You know, you buy a uh, 6% bond and interest rates go to three. Well, people will pay you a premium for that. And as interest rates, if you bought a bond at 3% and interest rates have gone to six, well, nobody wants your bond because they can go get a 6% bond. Now, the problem in mutual funds is you don't own the bond. So you don't have the two biggest guarantees an individual bond has, and that's a guaranteed return and return of your money at maturation. So then you have sequence of returns risk, which is, you know, if you're having bad years in the early times of retirement, it could wreak havoc in your income plan later on. So it's when the drops happen that's real important. And I know I'm running out of time and and I'll be doing a show in the next few weeks on risk So stay tuned for that. And then the sixth and final is, as you can see, there are many layers to a successful retirement plan. And you've got to address each one. And it pays to work with someone who looks at all these aspects on a regular basis. And so that's where I come in and say, do you have a financial GPS? Is your plan your financial GPS? Well, if you don't have one, give me a call. I'll be happy to talk to you about it. 844-343-6048. That's 844-343-6048. And you can visit our website, askbradshow.com, and listen to our uh, previous shows. And look forward to talking to you next week. That's all the time we have for today. To learn more about Brad Williams Financial Services or to set up a complimentary review, call 844-343-6048. That's 844-343-6048. Investment advisory services offered through Sound Income Strategies, LLC, and SEC Registered Investment Advisory Firm. Brad Williams Financial Services and Sound Income Strategies, LLC are not associated entities.